The meadows of the northeast harbor an animal which strikes fear into the minds of many. With its eight thin legs, striking black and yellow coloration, and eight beady eyes, the black and yellow garden spider isn't something you expect to find in a peaceful looking meadow. Even though it looks huge, this creature is a gentle animal. Stay tuned and you might find out something interesting about the new spider who might be sharing the backyard with you. Now the reason I'm searching in these meadows is because these spiders love to have an area that's sunny, so the sides of these meadows are perfect habitat for them where they can make their webs but also remain hidden from the aerial predators and from the prey items they're trying to catch. And you can see why. The bright colored flowers, they all make perfect habitat for these spiders to hide in. Just in this web right here is the black and yellow garden spider. Now they go by many different names. Some are corn spider, the golden garden spider, and the um, zigzag spider. And that's because the last name comes from the way this web is designed. If you look right in the center of it, there's a little zigzag formation going down. And that is what differentiates them from a lot of different spiders. They belong to the orb weaver family. And the reason they're called orb weavers is because of the way they design their webs. It's a very circular design. And a lot of orb weavers have this very thick zigzag shape in the center of their webs. All right, so now I'm gonna try and grab this girl off the web and free handle her a little bit and just talk about some more facts about these guys and the beneficial elements they have for the environment. Now, actually, before I do that, taking a spider off its web won't really cause any damages as long as you're careful and you don't destroy the web. They'll go back to the same exact spot. All right, so I got the spider off the web. Now, let's bring her back to a presentable spot. This, of course, is a female black and yellow garden spider. The females are usually a lot larger than the males. The males look a little bit more frail. And that's, of course, due to the fact that these females are responsible for laying the eggs. The males usually die after they're done mating. Sometimes the females will eat the males on certain occasions. Females will die when the first hard frost hits. And if the weather isn't very cold, they can live for a longer time. But usually, they won't live for too long. These spiders can be found all throughout North America, some parts of Canada, and Central America. So they're very widespread species. These spiders, they are the biggest ones we have here. And you may be asking yourself, is a black and yellow coloration bad? Since we have been told that bright colors usually means that it's dangerous. In this case, this spider is not dangerous to us whatsoever. They do have some venom, but it only affects their prey items. So if this spider were to bite us, we might just get some irritation or itchiness at the bite mark. And for smaller prey items like the flies and the wasps and the bees, the venom will have a different effect and they'll start to paralyze the prey item. And sometimes these spiders can even shake their web back and forth just to help entangle the insect more and more. And afterwards, they basically just package it up like a little lunch. And the web acts as a preservative, keeping the prey item fresh until the spider wants to eat it. So what would eat a black and yellow garden spider like this? There are a lot of predators here. Some would be the birds here. Birds would love to get a spider like this as a meal. Um, amphibians, reptiles, some mammals, if they can get a spider off the web. Even some people have been reported eating black and yellow garden spiders. I wanted to show you this too. These spiders can make a little safety web where they can catch themselves as they fall. And that way, they can make their way safely to the ground or prevent any like damages they would take if they were to free fall to the ground. And this silk is actually incredibly strong. People have even said that if there was enough silk to be collected from these spiders, they could make bulletproof vests. And that makes sense. This silk is definitely strong enough. There have been cases of birds being caught in orb weaver webs. All right, so as you can see, I've been handling this girl for a long time and she hasn't even tried to bite me once. So that just shows you if you can handle any animal with care, they won't feel a need to bite you. The only time bites occur will be if you're mishandling an animal, squeezing it, causing it harm. They only bite in self-defense. But an animal like a black and yellow garden spider poses no threat to people. And you can just admire them from their webs as they go around catching insects for you. They are a great form of pest control, so before you try and kill this spider, just keep in mind that these spiders are a great animal to have around your yard. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe for more stuff like this, 
and comment down below your craziest spider encounter. I would love to hear from you guys and see what type of spiders are in your area. Until then, just remember, if I can find something like the black and yellow garden spider, imagine what you can find near you. I'll see you guys in the next video. I've always wanted to try this actually. I'm gonna try and just let it crawl onto my face. All right, yep. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.